going on, everyone? So as the title states, I'm not lying to you guys. <laughs> I was hanging out here at uh, Porsche Angle like I usually do. This is like my second home. But uh, so that spider, which the GM Roger was driving, and you know, I asked him how, how it drives. And he was just like, yeah, take the keys and go drive it. I was like, holy crap. So, but before we get to that, you know, of course I got to show you guys around whenever they change the floor up. There's some nice stuff here. Um, I don't know if you guys remember the 912 was here from one of the other videos I did here. So this still looks amazing, you know. But the other car that's here is the car from the Restoration Challenge, which I did. Um, I posted a video of this. If you guys go back in the videos that I put out, you'll see I did a. I posted the whole like media video for this. Sick. So, so this car is the 86 Carrera. Roger and the team actually bought this from the original owner. There was one owner. Crazy enough that the owner actually bought the car here back in 85, 86. So it's only been here. The car has only seen <laughs> this dealership. It hasn't been anywhere else. So for it to return home so many years later, it's sick. And I'm trying to remember how many miles. Oh my God, only 8,000 miles on the car. Insane. But Roger and the team basically restored that car back to like original condition. It was sitting for years. And all original parts, not replaced. These are all original parts. Sick. Yeah, so unfortunately, they went to the to the challenge with the car out in Chicago and they didn't win by technicality. They actually blew every other dealer out the water with what they did with this car. And there was some type of technicality, I think, with some type of paperwork and they ended up losing. And even, the, you know, it was just a whole big thing. Very disappointing, but, you know, they're going to come back next year and do it again. Um, oh, look, 928. How mint this thing is. Yeah, this is mint. Wow. Sick. You know, normal. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Tycon. Oh, this is the, the Turismo. But then Cayenne Turbo GT. truck is sick once again a faster truck on the ring magnesium wheels 10 piston calipers I mean this truck starts at like 180 something before options oh man this truck is no joke no joke and we got some Macan S's back here. And very capable cars. I mean, you saw the video of me driving the GTS. The Macan GTS, the last one I posted. Ooh, this is Jet Black Metallic. Oh, yeah, it is. Red interior. Let's check this out real fast. So I think, I believe these are customer cars that were getting serviced. You know. Turbo S, Junction Blue, sick. It's a sick color, man. But, whew, 991.1 GT3, sick. PCCBs, silver, matching yellow, seat belts. Wow. I was gonna get one of these, but then I landed a GTS allocation for the 992. And, you know, <laughs> rest is history, but 
Wow. Wow. It's like there's 911s and then there's GT3s. These stand out so much. Oh, man. What do you guys think? <laughs> it's like standing here. It's like I, I, I still want one. I still want one. And I don't know, man. I, I feel like I should still try to push for one. What do you guys think, man? Comment below if you think I should push for a GC3 um, for the channel. A 991.1 GC3. I think, oh, my God, look at this. I can't emphasize enough how sick these cars are. They look so good. Tell me what you guys think. If I should still push for a 991 GC3. I mean, I've never experienced one on one. It is one of my bucket list cars. One of my dream cars, you would say. Um, I mean, the 992 GTS is definitely a great opportunity. So that's why I don't want to pass that up. Also with the goal in mind that I want to get a 992 GT3. So that's why I kind of like skipped over that generation of one to the 991 GT3. Even though that was that was the car I wanted before the 992 GT3 appeared. But I think it's, oh my God, I think, <laughs> I don't know guys. Like I said, comment below, let me know. I'm gonna think it over. I might, you know, I might be able to swing one. Let's know, who knows, but we'll see. Man, I don't know what keeps happening, but <laughs> people keep handing me keys. And as I was in there shooting the video for you guys, what, well, one of the good customers that, that comes through Inglewood, he actually just pulled up and I started talking with him. <laughs> and let me show you what he has. PTS Nardo Gray 992 GC3. His name is Lorenzo, by the way. As I'm talking to Lorenzo, you know, I'm talking about the car. I'm telling him, you know, this is literally the car on the list that I'm trying to get. You know, you know, we're discussing things. And I'm telling him that, you know, I'm about to drive the Spider. And he's like, you know, I asked him, I said, you know, can I take a look at the car? He's like, here, take the keys, you know, go, go take a look. You could pop it open, take a look. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I live a good life, man. <laughs> so, oh, uh, this is gorgeous. Nardo Gray PTS. If you see the plate, Nardo Gray. Don't worry, guys. Soon, soon, I'm gonna be in one of these. I'm working towards it. Ooh. Option with the comfort seats, PDK, wow, the carbon trimming, that's what I love about the 992s, I know, I know some people like the old school door handles, but I love how they fold in. PCCBs. But he uh, he did the black coloring on them, black paint. This is gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh man, it goes with my Jeep, guys. <laughs> but funny enough, ironically enough, my GTS, I'm looking at the gate gray, which is similar to like this Jeep color. It's like a gunmetal gray. But I haven't decided on the color yet. So, you know, as far as the GTS, you guys, you know, it's getting pushed back to December, so I still have a little window to choose the color and stuff. But, let's see. Oh, that's sick. Oh, man. GMG exhaust. Better than that. 
GMG exhaust. Oh my god, man. I'm next. I'm next. I'm getting one. I don't care. I'm gonna find a way to get one. <laughs> this is this is Roger. Here. So, <laughs> so that's that's it, right? Here. No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna edit that. <laughs> this is the this is the GM that uh, controls this place. The amazing guy that everybody works with. Well, I mean, it's not it's not controlling, but you know what I mean. This is. I just make sure that the building doesn't catch on fire. Voiceovers. <laughs> <laughs> the game show host right here. Right, yes. Now, but the price is wrong. But <laughs> now, nah, Roger's an amazing guy, man. Amazing guy, amazing team. This is why I'm here. I might as well start working for free because I'm here almost every day because of these people, man. So, <laughs> and that's the keys that he threw at me, and he's like, <laughs> he goes, hand them over. Guess we're gonna have fun in the spider for a little while. Have a blast. Got a full tank of fuel. Can I come back with it empty or? Uh... It won't take long enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm not. I'm playing, dude. I, I get too nervous driving stuff that you know. I get it. You know how I am. Honestly, it's like, good. is there like a park nearby or something? There is, but you want to take it on Route 80. Take it on Route 80. Yes, you want. Get it to the 85, like 85,000 RPM range. 8100. That's 8100. 8100. Oh, nice. man. Especially. We, the bike from last night. I don't know if you talked to Manny. No. The motorcycle that tested me last night or two a week. With a, with, and you was in the spider? I was in the spider. Son of a gun. Son of Same a to gun. say that when, he, when the bike finally caught up to me, <laughs> he put his visor up. <laughs> turned the radio down. Yeah. And I screamed out the spider top, sell it! <laughs> <laughs> now you see why I hang out with this guy all the time. <laughs> oh, man. And he's had, yo, Roger has stories, man. This is another guy that has amazing stories. Amazing childhood. Yeah. <laughs> that I'm alive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. But you guys are going to see a whole lot more of him. You guys are going to see a whole lot more of him. But, dude, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to be careful with it. I'm going to. Have some fun. This is my right home, so. <laughs> <laughs> what year is it again? 22. It's a 22. 22 Spider. Are you trying, are you, are you trying to sell it? I try to sell everything. Oh, so, well, it's for sale, guys. If you guys are watching this, if but you're I have, interested. I have a feeling when you come back, though, it's not going to be for sale anymore. Oh, crap. Exactly. Oh, crap. <laughs> you put a GT3 motor right behind you like that. You'll see. You'll see. <laughs> All right, let's take it out. I'll give you guys my review, my, my opinion of it. I'll see you guys at the car. Oh, man. I'm excited to drive this. So as Roger mentioned, this is a 2022 718 Spider. Um, I'm not too, I mean, I can't give you guys a full breakdown of this car because I'm not really too familiar with the stats, but like I know most of the basic stuff. Um, it's a 4.0 liter uh, flat six. I'm pretty sure this is the same motor that might be in the previous generation 911, like the GTS and stuff, the naturally aspirated. It's a six speed manual. Oh man, look at this interior. This was option with the carbon buckets, but also uh, in the, uh, I guess this is Bordeaux Red, the Bordeaux Red interior. I look in Tyra's steering wheel. Let's open it up. I'm over here, hold it. Wow, I look in Tyra door panels. And this is the extended red leather because the dash is, uh, is red also. But it comes with the fire extinguisher, another option. Yeah, this is pretty sick. So I got the six, six piston calipers up front, four piston in the rear. Uh, look like this was an option with the PCCBs, which is the poor ceramic, um, the carbon brakes. Uh, this is a steel brakes, but the steel brakes are just as capable. Um, they're pretty good. Uh, and I know, because when I drove the GTS on the steel brakes on track, dude, we were beating on those cars all day, and then they were, they never... <laughs> there was never any like type of fade but yeah uh it's like gt silver which is a sick combination in my opinion i i was tampering with this also gt silver with with red interior but you can never go wrong with that also the top it's a manual top these cars are not they don't have electric tops um because you know of course porsche they're trying to save weight so what they do is you pop that and you have to just manually pull the top out and cover it and put the clamps in and it's pretty simple but it does take some time if i have time i'll try to show it to you guys how it works uh it does have the matching red top uh let's see 
Well, let me pop the tr pop the. Okay. See, this is yeah the matching red top. So what you would do is you would pull this up. As you can see, it goes up. Oh, sorry. You have to open these flaps. Pull this up. Pull it over. And it's like a whole kind of like mechanism that you have to do manually. But it's not that bad. I will say, if it rains, if it rains, um, that's kind of the issue because unlike an electric top, which will probably take a couple of seconds to put it up, it will take you probably a few minutes. But... I mean, you should know the weather if you're going to be driving with the top down. I guess the next thing now is just hopping it in, taking it for a test drive. Let's take it around. Roger suggested <laughs> Roger suggested that I should take it on the highway. I'm one of those guys where I'm very like, I don't like really pushing people's cars, especially when it's not mine. So, and I don't have the money to be cutting checks like that. So, we're going to drive. I'm going to try to be conservative. I'm gonna, of course, step into it whenever I can, just so you guys can see how it really um, feels. Also, because I want to, you know, give my honest opinion of how the car drives, you know. So, yeah, let's let's give it a shot. Carbon buckets. <laughs> Probably say that's the. As far as carbon buckets, I love carbon buckets, but I think that's the hard part about having them. I mean, similar to my 993, you know, as much as I love those sparkle seats, when I was in them, getting in and out was the hard part. So you have to kind of factor that in when you option in these cars, like whether if you want the regular 18 way seats or if you want the carbon buckets, you know, like how often do you drive the car? So. Yeah, let's take it out. What? Who's this? <laughs> What's going on, man? You shaved the beard and you just look different. Yeah, I know, man. I look like blue. <laughs> Word. What are you about to do? I'm about to take it, do a little quick review of it, driving around. How far are you going? Oh, uh, not far. Uh, you know over here better than I do, so you want to hop in? Sure. All right. So, as you guys saw, when I was rolling out, I ran into Mandy. Mandy's one of the, the Porsche techs over here. Amazing kid, man. Amazing guy. Um, he's going to hop in and take a ride with us. I mean, he knows this car better than, than me. So, to have Mandy ride with us would be good. And also, he could kind of, like, break down some of the stuff or even, you know, actually direct me around here. I'm not really too familiar with this area. So, all right. So, I got Mandy in the car with us. So Mandy, guys. introduce yourself, man. What's up guys, I'm Manny over at uh, Porsche of Inglewood. I'm one of the head classic car techs here and I also happen to build a lot of, of the cool stuff and uh, <laughs> get to be part of my good friend here, Joey. And he's gonna test out this uh, 17 Spider. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, okay, so I'm gonna put the exhaust on. Mm -hmm. on the exhaust. I'm gonna take the auto, the stop, the start stop off. Yep. I'm gonna leave everything else. Ah, I'm gonna do the auto blip because I want to see. I want to see how the auto blip is. Yep. And uh, that's it, right? Everything else Pretty should be good, it. right? All right. So the thing is, you gotta show me around over here. So best thing to do is Roger wants me to go on the highway to kind of see how the car really pulls. Um, okay, I don't want to go too far, but by the way, yes, this is a manual, not a PDK. Right. I build them. Yeah, make it right. I build them so I like having them all stick. Unless it's an RS, clearly that's a different animal. But let's keep the manuals, man. So Save question, me. this motor is the same motor. It comes in the previous, like the NA991s, right? It's uh, a 4.0. Yeah, 4.0, 4 the previous 991.2 motor. And it comes also in the new generation 992 GT3. Uh, basically, this is a baby GT3, if you call it that. Right, and it's geared different. I think it's got longer gears. It's got longer like, gears, I guess, to make it more of a Grand Tour. And it revs at 8100. Uh, 8100. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, good, good. Let's look at the car to the right. First thoughts on driving a 718 Spider. 
just through the town, rolling through the gears, going at 30 miles an hour. What I do you think? I'll say, I mean, just a little like, just the feedback in the steering wheel, it's good. Like, it's it's very precise. Um, the funny thing about it, like, this is not a car that I would pick, because, you know, I'm a GT3 kind of guy, like GT3, Turbo S, whatever. So, and I, I'm not really a big drop top, like convertible kind of guy. But this is something special. But this is something fun. Like, I could, like, just the feel of it right now. To the left. I already could tell, like, this would be a nice cruiser, like, you know, wherever you're going, whether you're driving along the coastline or whatever, or even just driving through the city, like, it, it's fun. It's like a go-kart in a sense. And also... It's a go-kart, but it's also a looker. It's like a Broadway cruiser that can that. actually pick up and go. Yeah. I was just saying... I don't know if you guys have seen, but I'm pretty sure you guys follow him. You guys have done your research on 718 Spiders. There's something to look at, no matter what color, what spec you get it. You right. always get looked at to the right. And you gotta remember also, like, these cars are very high in demand. Yes. So to get one like this, in once this again, it's for sale. <laughs> it, it is for sale, again, in this spec, bordeaux red over black. Yeah. You get the carbon bucket seats, six speed manual. Uh, I believe this is GT Silver, no PCCBs. Yeah, yeah. But I personally think that for the weight of this car, what you're gonna be doing with it, PCCBs will be a little bit of an overkill. Right. Um, this is not to me a track car. So I always say PCCBs, it's always leave them on 9 11. <laughs> I would like to add this though. This gearbox feels amazing. This shifter feels amazing. I don't know if it's the same shifter that's in the 992 GT3. Same shit. Same shit. It is? Like, oh no. my God, this thing feels. Like it's, it's just, very in, notchy. In this it's car, I always tell people this: the mid-engine feel and it, the engine not, the engine being actually directly behind you, the throw of the shift yeah. feels different. This car, yo, it's very easy to drive. <laughs> yeah, like I just like this is my first time driving it. Literally, first like, time driving, but you feel very confident in spider in it. Yeah, it feels like, okay. I can drive the car. It's not gonna. Yeah, change. I'm already. I feel comfortable with the car. Like I've owned this car for a while. Yeah, and I, you can't say that with a lot of cars. So. No. It goes to show, and, my, and this is a manual, it's not like it's like PDK. Oh, they go that auto blip, I like that. Uh -huh. Um, so that big bridge is that? Yeah. They make the right. Okay. Maybe yeah, so. I don't know why it's okay. <laughs> I want to open this up, see. Uh, um, one one thing, thing that I always hear clients kind of not complain about, but as, as because motorsports, as me and a bunch of my colleagues say, uh, we make them a little louder. Because, yes, inside, you know. It might not seem loud, but once this thing gets hot, she screams and pops like you wouldn't believe. Alright, so now we're gonna head on to the highway and let's see what Joe thinks. We're just gonna, you know, have some fun. He says, you know, no exit to turn back for about like seven miles. Oh! <laughs> about is I like for for a stock exhaust that sounds good man yeah because the like the, it's, it's, the engine sounds so good the engine oh, oh, so it's barely in. Oh, all right hold on <laughs> I'm in third gear <laughs> there goes our moves here right I'm in third oh, gear man. and I hit over 100 in third gear yeah. that's how long these gears are I think it's around wow it's crazy, it's like I'm sitting in third gear. You're sitting in third gear. The happy place in this car is third gear. Wow. Third gear to four. There you go. Okay. Yep. Wow. So, <laughs> yeah, I hit 110 in third gear. <laughs> wow. Uh, that's one thing that I say about this modern. <laughs> Baby GT3s, if you got a chance, so so tail up. Yeah, this is a fun car. This is a fun car, okay, you know? so. But this is impressive. This is really impressive. Yeah. And, like, having the top down, you know, you can take your lady out. Take your lady out, have her hair blowing in the wind. I mean, you can't 
can't like that. Not man. too crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I I went into six the cruising gear just to see how it is, and I'm literally at 20, 2200 RPMs cruising at speed limit, and you don't even hear anything. Like that's how crazy it is. Like, this is good. This is really good. Mm -hmm. So even with exhaust, you know, you could, you could be manageable with a exhaust i mean i'm exhaust guy i love i love being oh, loud yeah, well, i mean but if you got somebody in the car like if you have a date or anything like that you could, you know, you, it's good and once again it has the valve control so you can close the valve for the exhaust i have it open right now but this is this is nice man it's very impressive one thing that i do have to say about the auto blip it is very helpful because sometimes this car the adrenaline rush it gives you you think you're not going to be able to get rev match and that little buddy is there to help you kick it and, uh, here we go This was very, very impressive, guys. I gotta admit. I mean, yeah, this is definitely a weekend it's car. A GT3, it's not a 911, but you almost there. And you can keep up with the crowd. It's definitely a nice, it's a nice weekend car. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, it definitely is. It definitely is. Holy. Border red right on that silver. But me, I'm still a GT3 guy. So. <laughs> But I mean, we all are. Right? I will. I will be honest. This is worth a buy. Whoever is looking into getting into one of these, definitely worth a buy. Um, this is a big change from the last generation to this. They actually, uh, the Motorsport division actually worked on this one, just like the Cup cars. So it has that that GT3 Cup chassis, you know, setup. Um, you know, so it's a very, very, very nice handling car. It's also very compliant for the street. But I think it's totally worth it. You know, you get a nice drop tops, 718 Spider with uh, with some uh, Porsche Motorsport Heritage behind it. You can't beat that. So I just I just want you guys to come along just to see how this this, this is. Um, I'm, I'm thankful, man. I'm thankful that Porsche Angle would let me drive this car. I'm thankful for that Roger, the GM, was cool enough to trust me with the keys. Man, and I'm also thankful for Manny coming along because I didn't know my way around. And, you know, it's, uh, like I'm speechless. I'm always speechless by these cars. It's, it's a Porsche. It's a Porsche car. Roger what? back his keys. <laughs> Was that right? Was that right? Oh, my God. I'm 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 impressed. Of course you are. I'm impressed. Like Look, keep that keep that away from me. Keep keep okay. keep it away keep it away from me. Keep it away from me. I'll go home with it. Keep it away from me. That's my key. Oh my god. That, that's it guys. I'm out of here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Peace.